how did you get into comedy in Baltimore? So one day I was working at the Hyatt Hotel. I just got out the military and shit. And I was working in the back kitchen and I was so depressed. I was like, I'm throwing my life away. I don't know why the fuck I'm here. Why am I touching plates? What the fuck am I doing with my life? I was like, but I had already been writing comedy. And uh, Monique, she's from Baltimore. Okay. Yep. So Monique had an open mic on Thursdays. So I didn't tell anybody. I told Was my, she famous then? No, Monique was like on her way up. It was right before the Parkers, right before she yep. got on the Parkers. Like she was on her way up. So I told my wife, I was like, um, I'm going to go do this open mic, but don't tell nobody. Mm -hmm. Just I'm That's letting you know where I'm going just because you're my wife and I need to let you know where I'm going to be, but don't tell nobody. So I go do the open mic. I kick a hole in that bitch. I win the open mic. Yeah, hell yeah. So the dude that booked Monique's booked me for the next week to come back to the club mm -hmm. to host the show. Yep. So as I'm doing that, I'm meeting people. So God rest his soul, Tracy Richardson, he owned a club called Club Laugh-A-Lot in Baltimore. He let me open up for so many big names mm -hmm. like Bernie Mac, Flex, Arnaz, J, Bruce, Bruce. Like oh, yeah. I was <laughs> nice. six months in. That's crazy, actually. All yeah, 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 six that's, months that's... in. Being able to open the show. Some people that are six years in and don't get to do that. Exactly. And I'm around these dudes and they're like, how long you been doing comedy? I'm like, six months. Yeah. They're like, what? <laughs> you lied. I'm like, yeah. So then what that let me know, Jake, is, yeah, yeah boy, this what the fuck I do. Yeah. Yeah, I'm around <laughs> motherfucking vets with 10, 15 years in. Yep. And they work. I'm going up before them and they like, save me some, youngster. God <laughs> damn. Yeah, I'm busting their ass. So I knew comedy was what I do. Like, I can be funny effortlessly. Like, yeah. that's something I can just do, like, breathing. So I knew that was, like, what I wanted to do. But the streets of Baltimore, some of my experiences, mm -hmm. some of the shit, the way people think in Baltimore, how we get mad when we wrong. Like, I mm -hmm. still do that shit today. Yeah. Like, and I try to get past it. <laughs> sure. But when I be wrong sometimes and somebody check you, we just go off like you could set a fire. You could be like, yo, you set that house on fire. Fuck you mean I set the house on fire. That shit ain't up to cold. <laughs> Fucking wiring ain't ready and shit. Old ass wood. I just put the match to it, but this shit could have happened anytime. You feel me, huh? But you're an arsonist, sir. <laughs>